7 essential gimbal moves. 7. The push-in shot. Set a desired focus point where you want to push in in the middle of your frame. In this case, I'm picking the front headlight. Walk in a smooth motion towards the focus point, keeping this point in the middle. For this shot, I put the gimbal in lock mode by pressing the trigger with my index finger. This way it doesn't make any unwanted small panning movements. If you do want to add subtle pan movements like these two shots, set your camera to pan follow. A great way to emphasize the car or part of the car. 6. The slider. For this shot we walk in a straight line but keeping our camera sideways, making it look like we are sliding past the car, revealing parts of the car in a sideways motion. You can also make this slider shot while standing still, spread your legs for good stability and slide your camera from side to side. When I make shots like this, I always take my shot and take the same shot but in reverse and I do this a few times. This way I can pick the best shot later in post-production. 5. The Crane Shot For this shot we move the camera vertically up or down. A great and easy way to reveal your car into the scene. If you want to add some spice, you can also add some tilt movement, giving you this cool tilted crane shot. 4. The reveal shot. With this shot, you reveal the car and the scene by using an object such as this wall. Slowly slide from side to side to reveal the scene. You can use any object such as other cars or even the sky or the ground. 3. The pullback shot. Start with your focus point close by and walk backwards in a smooth motion, slowly revealing the scene. In theory you can also just reverse your pushing shot unless you have other moving objects in that shot. 2. The Orbit Shot For this shot we are walking in a circular motion around the car, keeping the same distance from the car throughout the whole shot. You can also make orbit detail shots to emphasize certain details. 1. The FPV or First Person View Shot for this shot we use all three axes on our gimbal to create a very dynamic shot. To start, pick a focus point in the middle of your frame and keep your gimbal in an angle. Now walk backwards in a circular motion, at the same time twist your gimbal to the opposite angle, creating this cool movement. You can do this for the headlight, grill, emblem or any other car parts that you like. Add a simple speed ramp to make it look even cooler. If you want to learn 10 more creative car shots, make sure to watch this video.